the comic book supervillain typically comes up with an incredibly ambitious plan of mass murder or world domination. But no matter how driven they are by evil, their plans usually end in failure. This is mainly because of how insane characters need to be to become supervillains. Maybe comic books tell us something about the nature of our species. Because when one man chose to become a real life supervillain, his mad plan met a comical failure. In 1992, Marvin Heemeyer opened up an automobile repair shop, but business was slow, and he was forced to sell two acres of land. A local concrete business agreed to pay $250,000 for the land, on which they would build a concrete production plant. But despite being known as an honest and respectable person, Heemeyer decided not to honor the deal, demanding $375,000 instead. Not surprisingly, this slowed the process, and his late the demand for $1 million didn't exactly help, but he was unable to stop the transfer of land or the construction of a plant on that land. He launched many legal disputes against the plant's construction, all of which dismissed by local government. They thought it was over. Little did they know they were awakening the greatest, most evil supervillain of all time. And no, I'm not exaggerating even a little. Hashtag Eskify don't lie. As Himaya grew more and more angry, he put together the most well-conceived plan in human history. He sold his shop and used the money to purchase a bulldozer, without any obvious reason to do so. His friends and family members thought he was going insane. He was. In the coming months, he modified the bulldozer, giving it steel armor plating to make it bulletproof. After 18 months, he had completed the ultimate death machine, with steel plates and set concrete to protect the cabin, gun ports to shoot at people outside and an oxygen tank, it came to be known as the Killdozer. Could it be that the Killdozer was superior to any military vehicle? In my opinion, probably yes. So now that the Killdozer was complete, what was Himeya's genius plan? To go on a massive rampage. He drove the Killdozer into the concrete plant he never wanted built in the first place. After wrecking the plant, he began destroying other local buildings. Because if you've crushed one building, why stop there? He destroyed houses, stores, the office of a newspaper business, the local police station, and even the town hall. He was really that angry. It wasn't far into his two hour long rampage that police noticed what was going on. But as the Killdozer was so well protected, there was little police could do to stop him. They fired over 200 rounds of bullets, all of which failed to penetrate the Killdozer. And so the police were unable to stop him. Hemeyer was a super villain, meaning he could only be stopped by a superhero. Actually, that's not true. Superheroes don't exist. The Killdozer got stuck under a building, and trapped inside, he commits suicide before police could get into it. And by the way, it took them 12 hours to get inside. So that concludes the tale of history's greatest super villain. Apart from Stephen Hawking, the Killdozer was broken up and sent to various scrapyards. Its legacy is controversial, but I believe the Killdozer is in heaven right now looking down on us. As for Marvin Heemeyer, he went straight to hell. So that's the end of this video. If you want to support this channel, you can do so simply by leaving a like. And if you want more content from me, I have a second channel where I do different videos about different things.